Hello, so my name is Ed Stokes. I'm here at Greystoke Studio and we're going to be mixing an OmniVibe track uh, called Light My Way and I'm going to break down how I mixed the lead vocal on this song. So, first of all, let's listen to the vocal. You're my inspiration through my desperation So I know that I'm going to have to EQ to begin with so I'm going to load up one of our FabFilter Pro Q3s that we use down here and I'm going to take some of the low end out that's just to get some of the room noise. You're my inspiration. Ain't nobody else but you. You can see some of that boominess, so I'm just cleaning up the vocal. So when everything's playing in the track, you don't need all of that kind of bottom end in the vocal. So I'm just cleaning it up so it sounds, um, you know, cleaner and it can cut through better in the mix. You're my inspiration. You can hear the room resonance on that. You're my inspiration through my desperation. Ain't nobody else but you. You're my inspiration through my desperation. Ain't nobody. Yeah, I like to take some high end off some vocals, kind of that really tinny stuff because it's just not needed um, and it kind of warms up the vocal a little bit when you take some of the high end off. Please like, share, leave a comment and subscribe so you never miss a video in the future. Then after that we're going to add one of the Waves Pultec EQs. Um, I like using this EQ especially on lead vocal because it can give me this brightness that I like. So to do that we're going to add some 10k I believe. You're my inspiration through my desperation Ain't nobody else but you You're my darkest hour You're my higher power The only one I listen to I like that, that's all we need on this. The vocalist is really good so he doesn't need too much doing. Um, it was really well recorded so um, yeah, um, then I loaded up a C6 multiband. I'm using this basically just to control kind of the overall um, dynamic of the vocal in the low and the mids and the highs. Um, and I have a preset here which I've made and I'll show you exactly what that's doing. If I solo the vocal again. Again, you can see I'm just taking out that kind of like woof woofness that you're not going to hear when the drums and the bass are in so it's just not needed um, so yeah and the reason why I'm using a multiband and not an EQ is because um, this will work when when the vocal goes down to that note harmonic and if he's singing up high I don't want to take the bass out because then he may sound too thin so by just doing it um, with a multiband it just means that when he's singing depending on what range he's singing that's how the multiband will affect this is acting as like a DSL. And now I'm just going to take some sharpness out. It's very harsh in that frequency. I like the sound of that. Then after that, we're going to add a compressor. My go-to is the LA-2A, the Waves version, CLA-2A. I like it, it just sounds good, so I use it. You're my inspiration, I just changed it so I actually put the C6 after the compressor because I felt like when I added the compressor there was a load of kind of low up, low end built up um, from the compression, especially when you add like an LA2A style compressor. It has, you know, quite a lot of low end in it so when I'm driving that and I'm comp compressing it around 5 to 7 dB, obviously I'm boosting up the low end um, so therefore I decided to put the C6 on after so I can control the low end once I've done um, the compression. Then after that, you probably noticed it's a bit from the compressor as well, so I'm adding a FabFilter Pro DS, and I'm actually gonna do a cool trick that I do is I uh, use two DS's. One kind of for the harshness around kind of three, 2.8 to 3K, and then I'm gonna use a second one for more of the, the high end. So let's just do the first one. 
just going to solo it. Oh, you can hear that. You're my inspiration. Then I'm going to copy it over again and I'm going to aim for a different You're version. Yeah, you can hear it, you can hear it catches you, it kind of pierces the ear when you know you've kind of got it right. You're my inspiration, without them. my desperation, ain't no... So to me that kind of cleans up the vocal straight away and it kind of makes it sound a bit more kind of pleasant to, to the ear sonically. You're my night sound saver, all I wanna do is raise you. Yeah. Then what I'm going to do, which is a little trick I do, is I then, at the end of the vocal chain, uh, where I've got it to a place where I'm happy with, I then kind of do some um, subtractive EQing, um, and I'm, again, I'm not actually subtracting the EQ, like taking it down, I'm using a multiband on the fab filter, again, so when it hurts, hits certain frequencies, uh, the uh, EQ will then come into place and it will duck um, certain frequencies. A bit like a multiband compressor, but multibanding EQ instead. Um, and the way I do this little trick that I do is I solo it. Uh, push it down where it resonates. That's right. Uh, you're my higher power to all I wanna do is my brain you're my Oh. If I then push this up. You're my giant cast up one. You're my high. So that's all the room noise to where he was when he recorded. So what I do is, is instead of just doing this, so then I lose um, kind of um, fullness in the vocal because I don't want to make it sound too thin. I don't do it like that and I do the same. Do multiband EQ and where I just drop it. So when it hits a certain threshold, that EQ then comes into play. You're my inspiration, throw my desperation. Ain't nobody else but. So that to me, that sounds much cleaner. So if we just stick with the processing on and the processing off and the lead vocal. You're my inspiration, throw my desperation. Ain't nobody else but you. you can see, that kind of you know, sits better to me in the mix. So let's play with the music. You're my inspiration, throw my desperation. Ain't nobody else but you. It doesn't sound overprocessed. Um, I'm using quite a few plugins, but each plugin is doing a small bit, so um, I don't, you know, I don't want to make it sound too kind of fake. I want it to sound natural as well. So to make it sound natural, I also put a little plate on. Let me just create this as a track. And I've got an Abbey Road Waves plate set up, which is a nice short reverb, and this will work well with this kind of genre. You're my inspiration, throw my desperation. What I do is with reverb is I kind of put it to a place where I can like hear it, you know, in the mix, um, and then I get it to where I feel like I want it, and then I just push it back a little bit. So it's a little bit less than I'd probably go for it normally. That means I've kind of got the reverb right. Okay, then after that, I then um, add delay on. Uh, delay, I'm just using a slap again. It, it doesn't need loads of delay, it just needs to have a, you know, a, a slap back here and there just to make it sound a bit thicker. Um, again, genre of music, if it needed certain delays then we can do that later on certain delays, but I'm just getting a, a basic kind of vocal of the lead vocal. Um, and again, you don't want to do too much, less is more. Um, You're my night sound saver, all I want to do is freeze, yeah. You're my hammer, song, my... To me, that's just adding a bit of whip to the vocal, which I like, so we're going to leave it as that. Let's play it. You're my inspiration, throw my desperation, ain't nobody else but you. You're my dry kiss of one, you're my higher pop. And that is how I mix the lead vocal on Light My Way by Omnivibe. 
hope you enjoyed that and uh, if you've got any questions um, then yeah let us know